So, I've been watching a lot of Great Scott lately, and one video caught my attention. This one, because I wanted to buy a smart plug, but now I know they're full of crap. So, I set out to make a DIY smart socket. First, I needed to set up Home Assistant. It's not like I wanted to make this video about the smart socket, but Home Assistant took too long to set up and I didn't finish the project. No. By the way guys, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and I wish you a happy new year. Let's start off with this. What is Home Assistant? Home Assistant is basically the go-to tool for a DIY smartphone. Useful for stuff like temperature sensors, toggles, <coughs> a smart socket, and automation. I will be using an ESP8266, a popular microcontroller with Wi-Fi functionality built in for wireless communication. They're available as standalone modules, very small but not recommended for beginners, and so-called development boards, with a voltage regulator and a USB flasher built in. I have the latter, specifically the Node MCU V3. First, I went to my TrueNest server and saw that there is a Home Assistant plugin. But after installing it, I found out that this is HA Core, and I need to install the OS version, which is unavailable as a plugin. So, my next idea was to make a Home Assistant VM, but that didn't work as well. So, my last option was a VM and a VM. Yes, I needed to make a Ubuntu VM with KVM and Virtual Manager installed, and only then I could make a HAOS VM. There was just one problem. My IP range is 10 dot, and HAOS showed a 192 IP. It turns out I needed to make a bridge to connect to my LAN, because HAOS was connected to the Ubuntu VM Virtual LAN. Now, after finally having HA installed, it was time for ESP Home, because I wanted to pair my ESP8266 with Home Assistant. When I watch tutorials, I see everyone connecting the ESP to the PC running HAOS, but I can't do that because I'm running the system on a VM without USB ports of course. So I found an alternate, setting up SSL. I did this using DuckDNS. Nginx and a lot of help from the Home Assistant Discord because I did a rookie mistake when forwarding a port. So now I have SSL and I can connect the ESP8266 to my PC, right? Nope! I have errors and I needed to create an ESP Home node without connecting a device, configure its YAML file and the secrets folder with my WiFi credentials download and install it onto my ESP8266 on ESP Home Web, and only then I had it connected. I added a BMP280 sensor and integrated my ESP into Home Assistant. Now I have this dashboard with temperature, pressure, and a toggle for my future DIY socket. That's it! I hope this will help you guys and I will link the tutorials that helped me most in the description. Anyway guys, I will make a follow up video more focused on the smart socket. Again, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and see you next year.